Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser and I am over here. And I'm Jim Otek and I'm over here. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for, for Advantage. Advantage. Scenario 3 Surgical Strike. Having found no gap in the Algorin defences, Strike Leader Jusevo devises a cunning plan. Ordering a surgical strike, he would force the Algorin to commit more forces to their defences, distracting them from his main goal. Part 1 was in motion. Well, here we are, Jim Otek. Uh, learn to play Beyond the Gates of Antares from the awesome uh, Strike on Caranine. Cheap as, oh, you can't even see that there. Cheap as starter set. We're up to mission three now, surgical strike. Mission parameters. Uh, basically the Concord troops, or me, I've got to get off Jim's board. Yeah, you got to get to my board edge. Uh, six turns, and we'll have a look at the forces. Yep. So what have we got here then, Jim? Tell the people. So we have two identical units of Algren AI troops. Oh, uh, nice. They got their basic guns, they've got a drone, and then the leaders, who have the exposed heads in true fashion of mm -hmm. any sergeant ever, uh, have a repeater, which means it's not as damaging, but two attacks. And over there by your by your tummy, what have you got? Don't look at these. These aren't for you. They're, these they're... are uh, reserves that can come in turn three onwards. Uh, if I bring them on, you might get a little you know, benefit from it. I might get a benefit from it. Strategic. Mm -hmm. There's victory point in it if he brings them on, basically. Uh, I've got a Concorde squad, which has got five guys with carbines, including the leader and a spotter drone. And then a new vehicle, which is a C3D1 light support drone with spotter. That's C3PO's cousin? Uh, I think it's a bit more fighty. Okay. Um, we did have a quick look. We can't see anything about hit points in nope. this. So, um, although it's got a high resistance, one shot is going to take it out, right? Yep, looking forward to it. So, like before, we've got some cover on here. You can see into it. Once you're in the footprint of it, you can see out of it without penalty. We've also got some barricades, so you've got to get to within an inch. You have to be touching it, and then everything within an inch gets the benefit. Right, so there's this kind of like occupied principle yes. in the rules, isn't there? Yeah. Um, I've got two dice in the bag. Jim's got two dice in the bag. It's round one. We go up to six turns. Let's, let's do it. Okay. Let's give you don't it roll for shake. first turn, mate. We shake the bag. Yeah, shake the bag. And last Sheep. time, Kaiser was telling me, you know, there was some dodgy stuff going on with dice. Let's see what we get first. See, whoop, whoop. no dodginess. His dice first. No dodginess. My dice first. Okay, well, here's an interesting one. I can't see what you're doing. Good. I don't want to go first. <laughs> Boo! Let's just hope that we get another one of Kaiser's dice out. All right, uh, I will move this drone squad. I will take an advance order because I want to do some shooting. Uh, so there's actually only one model in this. The, the spotter drones are different, aren't they? Yeah. So I'm going to move it into the cover like that. Mm, put the trees in front so you can't see. And the way that the spotter drones work, if you remember, is you move them afterwards. You move Anywhere them within an inch. Then the spotter drone, yeah. Anywhere within an inch. So it's going to fire across here. Yep. So the spotter drone has what's called a plasma light support weapon. It's got an effective range of 30. So that's plenty yep. on this table. It's got a strike value of three and it's rapid fire three. Spicy. Pew, pew, pew. So it's gonna shoot over there at those guys. It's not got the long range. Its accuracy, however, is only six. Okay. And compared to five. Wow, this has got a lot of shooting power in it. Here we go, pew, pew, pew. Uh, that looks like two hits. Yep. And you have a spot drone. And I have a spot drone. That's not a six. And that was knocked from a <laughs> hit. So we got two hits. Okay. So I assign the dice. You do. I will assign it to the two dudes on the end. Ooh. So your strike value is three. Yes. And my resistance value. Your resistance value is seven. So I need fours or less. Down to fours. Ooh. Don't make either of those. Pair of kills. So these two disappear and 
I get a pinned marker. You do get a pin marker, and the pin's actually for the hit yep. rather than for the for the for the uh, casualty roll. So that's quite an interesting development. There, we've got a pin, and we'll talk about those a little bit more. But it's minus, it's effectively minus one to quite a few stats. Yes. All right then. Okay, another shake of the bag. Another shake of the bag. We'll get it out, and that is a Kaiser. Oh. So these guys are going to. Advance over here. They're going to advance and occupy this cover position here, taking their drone with, but they can't actually see anybody to shoot. Okay. So that's me. So now I get to choose my order because these are my last two <laughs> dice. <laughs> Everything in the bag is yours, sir. I will choose uh, my injured squad to move. So what does pinning entail? Ah, well, when you once you've got a pin marker, you're suddenly like, you know, undertaking a bit of fire and so forth. You might, your troops might not do exactly what you asked them to do. So you're gonna need to make uh, an order check here against your command rating, which is okay. eight, but I believe it's minus one for each pin. I'm just gonna check that. I believe so. Uh, yeah, page 20 of the book, it says uh, it's minus one for each pin. So you need a seven or less. So I'm gonna try in advance and then I'll roll. Can I get a seven or less? Yes, you can. And if you pass that test, you remove one pin as well as execute the order. That's nice. Means that, that I won't have nice. that sitting around for next, uh, next time. So I'm gonna move six inches into this cover. So it's gonna go here, he's gonna go here. And then a little drone will go here. Now, because it's got two pretty deadly units, because this one's just got sheer weight of fire, that one took out two of my dudes. So to be spiteful, I'm gonna get rid of the one that took out one of my dudes. Well, are you sure? Because that now has a resistance score for being in cover of 10. So does that mean you cannot fail, Kaiser? Or does a 10 well, always fail? You're asking the question now, yeah. to which I don't know the answer. So that was an interesting point from Jim and Take there. Uh, it doesn't actually say in this booklet that we've got that the tens always succeed. Yeah. So I assume that means you need a strike value. Okay, okay. So I do have strike value one on one of the guns, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna go over here, right where up. there's a bit better of a chance. Indeed. So um, they have effective range of 20. So now that I've declared they're gonna shoot, I'll mm. double check. Yeah. And they 20. are well within. So, well within. I've got two different guns in this unit. The leader has no strike value, but gets two shots. Mm. The grunt gets uh, one shot with strike value. So, let's have a look. Okay, spot a drone means that I can reroll one of these. You can reroll one indeed. So, that is two hits, one of each. So if you assign those to your dudes. So, I'll just go for two basic dudes. So, the this... red one has strike value. So this one, resistance of seven. Yeah. Makes it. And the red one has got strike value, so resistance is down to six. That's a 10. He dared. And again, and pinned, pinned because you made a hit. Now, okay. interestingly, Jim and Tech, now that you've mentioned, now that we've thought about it, you could still have scored a hit over here and got a pin. True. And that, that might actually be the only way of dealing with it at this point. It might well be. You can't split fire in this, can you? I don't believe that you can. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna move up with the other team. They're gonna advance as well. Mm -hmm. I'll move that there so we know. Uh, these guys will move in next to their friends. Hello, friends. We're here to kill. Uh, so you'll go there. So this time, actually, we'll teleport him over here. We're gonna shoot at the drone because we've now got three guys with some, uh, with some strike value. Strike value. Yeah. So there's a chance. And if I pin you, happy days. Mm. So we got three guys with the red dice. And one, one guy the, with the double. With the load. SMG type gun. Yeah. Spraying. Um, so. Fives, right? Fives, I believe. All right. So I've got two hits so far. And you're going to reroll the re strike value. I'm going to reroll strike value. Yeah. No luck. But you are going to be pinned. Yes, so I already may not perform next turn at all. So I've only 
I automatically pass this one because my resistance is yep. 10 now. That one, I'm going to fail on a 10. So here we go. Yep. Big roll. Ooh, that was everywhere. And it, that was a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. Boom. Boom. <laughs> and that was looking so good for me at that point. Yep. So, as we know, drones don't stick around when their friends they go. They don't. And so, that is a victory point for you. And, and will indeed be. A lot of firepower from me. Yes. So, that's everyone acted. Absolutely. So there's a, there's a cleanup step, but we've not got much to do in that at this stage in the game. So let's roll round to round two. And you retain your pins for the next round? You certainly do, yeah. Here we go, round two. Things are looking a bit bleak for me. I'm pinned down and I've only got one unit in the bag. All right, give it a shake. Now this time I want to go first. And I'm not going first. You're not going first, but I've got that order test to make. You do. So indeed. here I go with my D10. And bear in mind, the last time I, I should I should have moved that dice to one side, right? <laughs> I'm gonna use the black one because I know it's not this tainted dice. Oh, boom! That's a nine. So I go down. That's interesting. So it doesn't matter what you were gonna say to do; they're just hitting the deck. They hit the deck. I do lose the pin marker, however. Yes. Okay. And that's me done for the turn. So I can't bring on my guys from the sideline just yet because that's a round three. That's thing, round right? three indeed. So uh, we know that the last two are going to be mine. Let's go with. Um, I think we're just going to stand and shoot with this first unit. So that's fire. No need to um, roll for it. I've not been pinned. So three red, two blue as we've come to expect. And what benefits do I get from standing? I believe- You get plus one to hit. Plus one to hit. But you're down, which means you have extra resistance and you're within range of that cover. So we had, we, had, we looked up what happens when you target a downed order. We, yep. Because we were bringing stuff from bolt action with us, which is not correct. Yep. What happens in Antares is if a unit is down, you have to re-roll hits. Yes. And interestingly, yeah. that happens before you re-roll for drones. Yeah. So I get a little bit of advantage if you work out the maths. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. see how well it goes. Let's see how the sequence goes. So. You're going to hit on sixes. Is that including my plus one? That's including plus one, isn't it? Because your accuracy is five. Cool. That's all hits apart from this one. So I have to re-roll these. Re-roll the hits. Uh, four, sorry. Because I'm down. So now I've got two reds and a blue that have hit. And we know that the red ones are better shots, so I'll mm. use my drone on that one. And it doesn't make it. So, you've got two reds and a blue so to assign. Allocate the allocate to these guys. Yep. So the blue, I've got a resistance of seven up to nine because of cover, right? Cool, yep. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Is that, I'm just double checking that. Yep, resistance is seven. So he's down. And then these next two guys also. Ooh, it was close, but they had a strike value, didn't they? Yes, they did. They're down to eight, so I lose another guy. And I take a pin. Boo! All right, this is looking, it's looking good for me. Uh, my next guys mm. do the same thing. Why not treat just themselves? just slaughtering me with firepower. I thought there was going to be a fight here. <laughs> no, no, come on. I've got to win sooner or later. So, uh, sixes? Yep. Okay, so I've got two successes that I have to re roll. Because I'm down. And one success. Now I'm going to re roll this one based yeah. on my spotter drone. So that is two to go through, one with strike value, one without. So the guy who's on a 10 and the guy who's on a 9. No, but that's also another source of fire, isn't it? So that's yep. another pin marker for me. It's not looking good for them it next turn. It is looking turn. pretty, pretty grim. Now. Back into the bag. Well, not quite, because Ooh. down units have a thing about the end of the turn. So units that end their turn with a down order do not automatically return their dice to the bag. Instead, they have to attempt to recover the order dice Make a test against the unit's command, applying the modifier on account of pins. So I'm down to six here. So I need a six to not stay down next turn. Cool. 
that That's is a, a six. six. So I'm not down. You get to go in the bag and one pin is removed from the target. There we go. Okay, so. Now I have a choice. Round three. Bing, bing. The rules for this mission say round three, I can choose to put a dice in the bag and bring this unit that are hidden just over here. Yeah. Onto one of the short edges. Oh, man. But the cost is you get a, come on, uh, a victory point for it. Well, you're already up one and you're about to slaughter me. Are yeah. you hoping for a perfect victory? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I don't want to see you on the scoreboard. <laughs> so I'm going to leave them off for now. I can always do it in a later round if I need Righty it. Righty-ho, okay. So, three dice in the bag. Mm. There's a good chance I can just end this. There is. Ooh. Same again. Why, why break the, uh, break the mm. tactics if they're working? So, And I'm not down this time. You're not down, so no extra uh, re-rolling of my nope. stuff. You just shoot on sixes with a re-roll. Three normal shots, two rapid-fire speedy shots. That one's cocked. Okay, so I've got uh, three hits, and I'm going to re-roll the good one. The good one. Good plan. That is four hits total, so you're pinned. <laughs> <laughs> So one good, one not good. So my resistance it's uh, nine and eight. So I'm de double dead. Eh! Double dead. And the other guy is on nines with these because this is these both got strike value. Oh. <laughs> Slaughter. And that is the tick tick boom. <laughs> Thank you for the game. Bye bye. If you're interested in playing Antares, you can of course buy the starter set Strike on Caroline from our online store at modelingforadvantage.co.uk. Thank you for watching.